Hello, everyone. Welcome to the China Brief. We bring you the latest global media coverage on China's current affairs, economy, and society, as well as exclusive analysis. Our trustworthy, professional, and multi-perspective China reporting provides judgment and decision-making references for the world's elites. The China Brief is issued in multiple languages, including text, video, podcasts, and books, and is broadcasted 24/7 in the six-degree world. This is China Brief. We bring you the latest content from the world's authoritative media on China's current affairs, economy, and society, as well as authoritative and exclusive analysis. If our content is of value to you, please subscribe to our content. Voice of America reports that a key member of Xi Jinping's power team, China's Foreign Minister Qin Gang, has not been seen in public for more than 20 days, sparking ongoing speculation. Officials say he has health problems and missed the ASEAN Foreign Minister's meeting due to his health. But social media has recently been abuzz with rumors that he is embroiled in a scandal involving an affair with a Phoenix TV hostess while he was ambassador to the U.S. and that the two have a son. The veracity of the rumor could not be confirmed for the time being. But Qin Gang's body looks good, even if there is a disease, should not be a big problem in view of the busyness and importance of foreign affairs. Long time do not show up to quell rumors. A little illogical. This makes the outside world question the official six A is just a pretext. Qin Gang has not shown up for a long time, triggering suspicions from all walks of life. If there are no official reports of Qin meeting with foreign guests or traveling in the next few days, it probably means that he does have a problem, and it may not be a serious one. To China, in today's global status and weight, in the public eye. Cannot be separated from the figure of the foreign minister. Delayed in public appearances is very strange. Can only explain the problem. This problem may not be a love affair between men and women, but something else, such as power struggles or corruption. But the likelihood of the latter two should not be high. He took over as foreign minister just over half a year ago, and also served as a state councillor, indicating that deeply valued by Xi. Unless in diplomacy against Xi's will, made a mistake in the direction, no one dares to covet his foreign minister's seat at this time. Step back, even if someone wants to do something to him, but also must find a suitable reason, cannot take the risk. It is also unlikely that Qin Gang will be caught in corruption at this time. He has been working in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs before serving as ambassador to the United States. Although he has been a vice minister of foreign affairs, but the outside world is not optimistic that he will become a foreign minister, even if the corruption can be corrupted to where, when he knows that he has been Xi, will become a candidate for foreign ministers. I think he will be very careful not to get involved with corruption. This is because he knows that at this point in time, there are many pairs of eyes, including those of the disciplinary and inspection departments. His colleagues in the foreign ministry, and especially his rivals, as well as the general public, watching him. And if he is not careful, he will not be able to be the foreign minister. Therefore, if Qin Gang does have problems, the credibility of the rumors of an incestuous relationship with a female host is very high. For Chinese senior officials, one or two, or even more than one lover is very common. Many officials will be investigated and punished after the notification of an improper relationship. The general perception of the people is that officials have lovers is a common occurrence. If Qin Gang has this aspect of the problem, of course, is also very normal. This kind of thing, put in the Western countries, cabinet members or national leaders, also not a few. This is human nature. That's why, according to one view. If it's just a male-female issue, it's no big deal, and Xi Jinping will let him off the hook because Zhang Gaoli wasn't penalized by the party before, was he? Will Qin Gang be punished? Will Qin Gang be punished? However, if the rumors are true, it may be a bit early to say that Qin will get off scot-free. The reason for this is that the political ecology of the Xi Jinping era is different. With strict political requirements for officials to be politically correct, 
The so-called political correctness has four meanings. First, absolute loyalty to Xi and the party. Second, no corruption and cleanliness. Third, courage to take responsibility in the spirit of struggle. And fourth, integrity in personal morality and cultivation. The first two are of course the most important, but the latter two are not dispensable. To be upright, one must first be upright in oneself, and if the people are asked to be good people, the official must be a moral example to the people and become a good official. Whether or not they can actually do this is another matter, but it must be demanded and publicized as such, or else they would not have added the item of men and women's unorthodox styles to the notices of corrupt officials. If Qin Gang, a senior Communist Party cadre and Xi's hand-picked foreign minister, is proven to have been unorthodox in his lifestyle, or to have been indiscreet in his relationships with men and women, she could, of course, dismiss it as a minor matter, or use the special nature of diplomatic work and the fact that he is a rare diplomatic talent to get him out of trouble, which he is perfectly capable of doing with the power that he has to say whatever he wants, and there would be nothing that anyone else could do about it. However, she really want to do so, you have to consider the political consequences of conflict with his strict requirements for officials, political correctness, which is not the same as not dealing with Zhang Gao Li. Although the latter position than Qin Gang higher, but has retired, not to mention and Peng Shui is a kind of you and I would like, only Peng Shui want a name Zhang cannot give. In addition, Zhang is said to have taken care of Xi's mother when he was in charge of Shenzhen, and Xi's friendship is good. If she wants to give Zhang a party disciplinary action, I am afraid that he will not win the praise of iron face and selflessness, but will be criticized by the people, especially the retired veterans, for making a big deal out of it and being unsympathetic. She is afraid that he will lose more than he gains politically. However, if Qin Gang is not dealt with, the situation may be just the opposite, which will leave a bad impression on most of the officials in the party and the public, as long as they are his close friends, no matter what they do, they will be fine in the end. This will weaken the legitimacy of his demand for political correctness in his officials and make more people question his anti-corruption and hiring practices. Although many people actually know that his anti-corruption is selective anti-corruption, using only close friends, but she still want a piece of cloth, do not want people to think that his anti-corruption and employment is purely out of personal self-interest, from the protection of the power of the starting point, on the surface, he still let people believe that the anti-corruption and employment of the country's interests and do things for justice and fairness. The political gains and losses for him need to be weighed against the fact that he will let the rhetoric he has built up by deceptive propaganda break down. On the other hand, protecting Qin Gang could also give Xi's cronies the illusion that she will protect them in order to consolidate his power, no matter what goes wrong in the future, and thus be more carefree. She has to consider this moral hazard. She is unlikely to protect Qin Gang, in addition to the two reasons discussed above, also lies in his illegitimate child was born in the United States, in accordance with U.S. law, the baby automatically becomes a U.S. citizen, Qin Gang became an American father, in the context of the confrontation between the United States and China. She obviously do not want to stand in the front line of the fight against the U.S., their own foreign ministers and the United States have any little personal interest in the entanglement of the U.S., you do the American father, how would you still how can you be the father of the Americans and still carry out my will wholeheartedly? This cannot but make she doubt Qin Gang's loyalty, even if he assures she that it is useless, or change the child's nationality to Chinese, it will not dispel she's suspicion of him for this matter. What's more, Qin Gang's foreign ministry competitors or Xi's opposition will surely seize this rare opportunity to submit some of his black materials to Xi, they are not good to attack Xi directly, and also dare not attack Xi, can be used to encourage Xi can no longer use Qin Gang is going to do. At this time, the outside world suddenly rumors of Qin Gang's peach color scandal, indicating that some people in the party or the diplomatic system want to, stupid, using this matter to make an article. If so, 
she will also be alert to whether things rush to him, the purpose is to weaken his authority, so that, on the contrary, let him determine to protect Qin Gang through. The reason is also that, if you do not protect Qin Gang, there will be another political consequences, so that his cronies feel, follow the Xi is not safe, a seemingly not serious style of life issues, but because of Xi to be concerned about the impact of public opinion or balance of intraparty relations, resulting in the demise of the career, Xi is also too not to take care of the interests of the cronies, resulting in them to re-evaluate and Xi's relationship with him to produce a rift of sorts. When this is the time to use people, she should not want to see his close ranks appear this situation. Therefore, it can be said, whether to keep Qin Gang, and how to keep Qin Gang, she is also in a state of dilemma. However, all things considered, it's more likely that she won't bail out Qin Gang, if it's confirmed that he's in the right place. Of course, if Qin's problems are more serious than the rumors suggest, and he is involved in espionage, as one theory suggests, then the nature of the problem changes, and she almost certainly won't bail him out. But even if the rumors turn out to be false, Qin's career won't be affected, but his reputation will be tarnished, and in that regard, he's a loser either way. The other loser is Xi Jinping. Qin's disappearance has been widely publicized not only because of the rumors, but also because it is the first incident of gossip about a high-ranking official since she established a new power structure at the 20th National People's Congress, and many people are hoping to see some kind of ominous signals from the Xi regime. That any irregular move involving a senior official will give rise to infinite associations with the regime. This is China Briefing. A Chance to Improve Cross-Strait Relations a delegation of 36 students and staff from five mainland Chinese universities will visit Taiwan in a bid to ease tensions between the two countries, the South China Morning Post SCMP, commented. The visit, organized by the mainland Chinese universities and supported by Beijing, is seen as a positive step towards improving understanding between the two sides. However, Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, remains cautious as the issue of abortion has political overtones, especially in the upcoming elections next year. More such contacts between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait are needed if mainland China and Taiwan are to reach a political solution to ease tensions. Here's the China Brief. Sullivan, hackers did not obtain any classified federal information from the agency. Capitol Hill reports that the Chinese hackers who compromised the email accounts of several U.S. government agencies did not obtain any classified federal information, according to National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. The hackers gained access to unclassified email accounts through Microsoft's cloud system, but Sullivan emphasized that no classified information was compromised. The U.S. government discovered the breach in mid-June and has taken steps to prevent further breaches. Sullivan noted that such incidents have been occurring in multiple governments for a long time. Here's the China briefing. U.S. Senate leader Schumer to include China sanctions in fentanyl defense bill. Reuters reports that U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat New York, has announced plans to push a bipartisan amendment to sanction China for its alleged role in the production of the synthetic opioid fentanyl. Schumer has accused China of being responsible for most of the fentanyl overdose deaths in the U.S. and has said that the drug comes from a Chinese manufacturing site accepted by the Chinese government. The amendment, sponsored by Republican Senator Tim Scott and Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown, will be included in upcoming defense policy legislation. Schumer expects the amendment to pass with strong bipartisan support. Here's the China briefing. Just the beginning, former Taiwan leader Ma ying welcomes academic team from China. Taiwan's former president Ma ying has called for more student exchanges with mainland China to improve communication and reduce the risk of conflict between the two sides, the South China Morning Post reports. Ma made the comments as he welcomed students and faculty from five mainland universities to Taipei. 
The visit was mainland China's first to Taiwan's leading academic group in three years. Cross-strait relations have deteriorated since Tsai Ing-wen, leader of the independence-leaning Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, was elected president in 2016. This is China Briefing. Five things to know about possible new U.S. bans on investment in China. The South China Morning Post, SCMP, reports that the U.S. is expected to impose new restrictions on U.S. investments in China, particularly in sensitive technologies with national security implications. Areas such as cloud computing and artificial intelligence, AI, are likely to be targeted. The restrictions are seen as an effort to prevent secrets from reaching military end-users. While current U.S. law prevents the transfer of advanced technology to China and restricts certain Chinese companies from trading in the U.S., the new restrictions are expected to be more targeted and specific. The move is part of ongoing tensions between the two countries, which have been exacerbated by an ongoing trade dispute. China has been pursuing technological self-sufficiency and has taken steps to increase its technological independence. Here's the China briefing. National Security Advisor, it wouldn't be surprising if North Korea conducts another nuclear test. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said he wouldn't be surprised if North Korea conducts another nuclear test after its recent test firing of an intercontinental ballistic missile, Capitol Hill reports. While Sullivan did not see any immediate signs that a test was imminent, he said it would not be unexpected given North Korea's pursuit of intercontinental ballistic missile capabilities. The U.S. is working with allies Japan and South Korea to counter the threat and has expressed a willingness to hold talks with North Korea about its nuclear program. Sullivan also mentioned China's role in the situation because of its relationship with North Korea. Stay up to date on the latest news, analysis, and policy briefings related to China around the world with China Briefing. Our team compiles, synthesizes and summarizes the most important information from a variety of sources, including the media, think tanks, government agencies and industry experts. Our mission is to provide you with easily accessible and valuable information that is tailored to your specific areas of interest. We understand the importance of staying abreast of the latest developments related to China and aim to make this information accessible to our readers.